Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, here's Ahmed Nasser. Welcome to a new tutorial on Java and Algorithm. Uh, today we want to take an example of how to find the best way for representation of polynomial. In a polynomial, there is a, lo a lot of methods that let you to uh, represent a polynomial. Uh, one of them using arrays, using linked list, and so forth. But the best way I find it uh, and uh, I think this is the best way ever for representation of polynomial. So let's take that example. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is uh, import. We want to use the hash map data structure. So you just put Java the etil. The let me import the hash map. So here we go. This is the first step. So uh, let's take an example of a uh, polynomial. We have this polynomial 7 times x to the power 100 plus 9 x to the power 30 plus 5 x to the power 33 plus 19 x to the power 10 plus 7. And we need to represent this polynomial using uh, this data structure hash map. So let's back to the track. Uh, first thing you need to uh, make a hash map. So uh, hash map. Um, polynomial for example equal to new hash map okay and notice that uh, sh this should be capital okay uh, in hash map you need to specify the type in the hash map and uh, you know hash map is uh, just like contain two values contain the key and the subject that you want to specify so I want to put two values here uh, one for uh, the power and one for the coefficients so uh, integer and integer come on okay I'm gonna just copy this and put it here so I choose this way because, for example, if you want to represent uh, seven and five, five. Uh, let me go back. If you want to represent four, for example, five times. Uh, where is that? Uh, five times x to the power. Uh, for example, if you want to represent this, uh, you put. In hash map, I want to put the power to be uh, the first element of the hash map and 5 to be the coefficient. So here will be uh, uh, you put uh, 5, you put 2, and here you put uh, the coefficient, which is 5, and so forth. So this is it for the polynomial. Polynomial contain many elements, so each element, uh, each x of the polynomial, we will save the power and the coefficient in the hash map. So in order to do that, uh, we need to uh, put all the values of the polynomial into uh, the hash map that we have here. So let's do that. Uh, so we put poly the put. So as you can see here, we have integer integer. That this is what we have specified. So we put the key here. Let put me put. 100 and here let's put the value so I want to check the value so it's 7 uh, x to the power 100 so we'll put 100 here and we'll put 7 here okay this is the first and continue with all the values until you finish all them and we put uh, all the value to the power 30 to the power 33 to the power 100 to the power 0 and notice that any number to the power 0 just basically it's uh, one so and go for it so now we want to take these uh, values to uh, uh, to to be an array so what I mean by that I want to take the hundred the, th the, th the three the thirty three the ten the zero I want to take them to an, to an array because I want to use a one constant loop for the for doing that so uh, I Okay, now I want to convert the the keys to an array. So I want to use a, an a, an array of integer. Uh, so for 
int so integer array equal new integer and so let me just I don't know I have trouble today with printing I don't know what is going on okay here let me just delete this here inside we want to specify the size for this array and uh, just to do that just take the poly poly the git size so just want to give the size the, the poly the git the size so where's that method the size that yeah. we just specify the size for the array and after that uh, I need take the value of all these uh, 130 33 these are the key that I have I want to convert them to an array so to do that to this array so to do that uh, just take the poly uh, just take the poly the, the hash map to we have a key set here as you can see here we have a key set so just click key set and you want to convert that to array so you just put to array okay we use this method and inside this we just specify the array that we have so array okay and after that uh, I have all the keys in the uh, in the in the, the new array and I can go through all of them and print the polynomial so to do that I just want to uh, use a one for loop so it's just take an end time or maybe less than n time but but in this example take n so the big O is big O of n here so it's a good time uh, not squared n but this is the best implementation you know so just put int i equals zero i is less than uh, you can use uh, poly the size i plus plus and inside this we want to use a, a, a system uh, system the out the print line and what I want to print um, I want to print uh, the 7 times x times 100 so 7 is not the key the key is 100 so I need to get uh, the the key the, the um, let's say the value the coefficient for the power 100 and in order to do that it's easy so I just put uh, poly the get so we get the object the object that we have here is array of i plus we make x here uh, to the power so we just put the multiplication sign here and plus uh, when I, uh, I want to print the the power that we have so just for array of i and I want to put all the polynomial on the same line so let me just uh, delete this and make a space between each polynomial and uh, let's run save that run it and don't forget to close this because you have triples here uh, run, save this again try run it and go down here okay that's cool as you can see here we have uh, 7 times x to the power 0 okay you can add a, a plus sign here but uh, this is just a, an example for presentation okay uh, just I have added a, a new condition here if I not equal to ballot this size okay add a plus sign so just for uh, uh, to make it more better uh, more realistic so just seven times x to the power zero plus so this is a way for representation you can uh, do all the multiplication process for this so you can uh, just make a summation you can make a multiplication of polynomials in this way so just you can change this and instead of uh, characters you can put a plus sign and take the summation to uh, a variable or something like that uh, I just want to show you how is how to represent that using the hash map and taking a linear time thank you for watching
and see you in another tutorial.